Hey loves, so in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys my June favorites. So I know this video is a little late. I was trying to film it earlier this month, but um, I got busy these past weekends with just a bunch of family stuff. But hopefully this video isn't too late to when I post it up for you guys. So without any further ado, let me go ahead and just jump right into my beauty favorites for the month of June. The first thing I have to show you guys is my Jurgens Natural Glow Daily Moisturizer and this is the firming one for medium to tan skin tones. So um, during the summertime, um, living in the San Francisco Bay Area, it is pretty cool all year round so I do wear pants majority of the time and um, that kind of makes my tan because I am naturally brown sort of uneven especially with my legs so my arms and just my upper body are always more tan than my legs. My legs barely ever see sunlight. So I've been loving using this Jurgens to gradually tan my legs so that they match better with my arms and upper body. So uh, this stuff works great. I've been using it all throughout the month of June and it's really helped my legs really match the skin tone of my upper body. And it's just great because there's nothing worse than when you go outside in a skirt and shorts and you can totally obviously tell that your legs don't match because my legs are so pale. But this has really helped me and I've been absolutely loving it. Next from this simple line, I've been using the Sensitive Skin Experts Eye Makeup Remover Pads and I use this to take off my eye makeup at night. I just use one pad, I soak it on my eye and wipe it off, then I turn it over and use the other side to wipe off my eye makeup for my other eye. So you guys know that I was using the uh, makeup remover wipes, which I still use, but I use these to just concentrate more on removing my eye makeup and then I go in with a wipe to um, get the rest of my face makeup off but I love this simple line um, it's really good for people who have sensitive skin like me and it's been really great I really love these eye makeup remover wipes they just really help get my eye makeup off really quick and easily and it's just great to um, add to my nighttime skin routine Next, my favorite lip color for the month of June has been this Revlon Lip Butter and it is the color Candy Apple. So it is this beautiful coral red color. There's a swatch of it for you guys. It is so beautiful on my lips. It's one of my favorite colors that I've been wearing all throughout the month of June and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be wearing it all throughout summer as well. It's just such a bright pretty lip color and I think it complements a majority of skin tones and especially with my skin color I feel like it makes me look more bronze and exotic and just really great for summertime. Next a concealer that I showed in a past video. This is the Bare Minerals Stroke of Light concealer. So my sister actually received this as a birthday present from our cousin but it was too light for her so my sister handed it off to me and I've been absolutely loving this. If you guys saw my Everyday Effortless face video you would see that I use this um, as my concealer. Not directly under my eyes but I do use it um, to kind of touch up and um, really it does brighten up your eyes and it does exactly what it says it's supposed to do. I use the color Luminous 3 and I've been absolutely loving this. If you guys like Bare Minerals and you want to check this out, I would definitely recommend picking it up. Next, I have a couple brushes. The first one is only a dollar because this is the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. And if you did watch my Everyday Effortless Face video, you saw that this is what I use to blend in my Stroke of Light Concealer. Um, when I'm using a more liquidy concealer, I prefer to use a brush rather than use my finger to blend it out. I just it. Feel like it makes it blend more flawlessly and seamlessly and there's no lines and it really helps apply everything and make it look really great. And the other brush I have to show you guys is the Angled Liner Spoolie Brush. So I don't really um, use the liner brush but I love the spoolie um, on the end of this brush. For whatever reason from my Sedona Lace um, Vortex brush collection I lost my dual ended brush like this and I've needed a spoolie um, for a while now because I like to use this when I'm doing my brows just to take off any excess makeup. Um, you guys have seen how I use this in my Everyday Effortless Face video as well but um, I've been loving this brush as well as all of the brushes from the Kirkland line at Costco. I think it was a really great value for those brushes and I might do a more in-depth review of the entire brush collection if you guys would be interested. Next I have a mascara and this is the Benefit Their Real Mascara. So this is just a small mini version of it. Um, I've been using this all month long and I'm pretty much out so I'm going to be picking up a full size version of it really soon. But this is what I used for my lashes today and I really love this mascara. So the brush just looks like 
this. And if you look closely at the end, it has a little ball, which really helps to grab your lower lashes. And it really does give you a nice full long eyelash effect. Um, it doesn't give you too much volume, but um, I love the way it gives me length and separates my lashes and it just looks really great. And I've been loving this mascara. Next, my favorite highlighter for the summer is by e.l.f. It is an e.l.f. powder blush in the color Giddy Gold. So um, this is what I've been applying straight onto my cheeks um, just as a blush and a highlight together since it is this beautiful gold color. It looks great for summer, especially with people who have skin tones similar to mine. It just looks great, sweeps across your cheeks, and it just makes you look exactly more bronze and golden and just... Um, perfect for summertime and um, that's why I've been absolutely loving this um, instead of wearing blush in a highlight um, I've just basically been doing um, my bronzer um, to contour my face a little bit and then just sweeping this across my cheeks because it just gives you a perfect glow for summer and next I have two hair products and these are both by macadamia natural oil so I know other um, beauty gurus on YouTube have talked about these before and I've been currently using the nourishing leave-in cream as well as the healing oil spray so I use a little bit of this first and then I will spray this onto the ends of my hair and my hair isn't super damaged or anything but I do feel that these help make my hair appear as healthy as it can be as well as just appear shinier and just looking great and I absolutely love it they're great new additions to my everyday hair routine the last beauty favorite I have to show you guys is a nail polish and this is actually the color I'm wearing on my toes right now and this one is by OPI and is the color you're so you're so I've been absolutely loving this color. This cobalt blue color is actually one of my best friend Liz's favorite colors and um, I just think it's so beautiful for summer. Usually people turn to more bright neon colors for summer but colors like this really rich jewel tones I think are great for summer as well and it's just such a beautiful color. I absolutely love it. So those are all my beauty favorites for the month of June, but I do have some other random favorites that I want to share with you guys. So the first one is these sunglasses that I got from Target. These are great. Um, I've been getting so many compliments on them. So I wore these in a past vlog video and you guys really love them and I'm in love with them too for summer. Um, I love the way the floral print looks against the black and they're just great sunglasses and I love wearing them. I get so many compliments on them every time I wear them. And next, some of you guys know that I've recently been taking up hiking as part of just my everyday physical health. Um, I like going hiking and just enjoying the outdoors and just walking around and wandering through nature. So with that, I recently bought a camelback and I posted this on Instagram. So my camelback just looks like this. It is this beautiful turquoise aqua color and it has um, lime green accents on it as well. And for those of you guys who don't know what a camelback is, um, basically when you go hiking or running or biking, um, it's great. You can slip this on and it won't fall off because you have a little buckle right here to keep it attached to you. And there is a compartment in the back here where there is a bag and you can fill it with water. So while you are outside and working out, whether you're running, biking, hiking, whatever you're doing, um, it has this attachment where you can go ahead and just take a sip of water from this. So it's really convenient. So if any of you guys like to engage in outdoor activities just like I do, um, this is something that is great to have, especially um, particularly with hiking. Um, I really love how I can carry so much stuff in it and I also have my water so when, wherever I am hiking when I get tired I can always sit down, pull out whatever I need to pull out and also I have my water ready for me whenever I get really thirsty. And my last random favorite for the month of June is the Matched by Ali Condi um, book series. So I recently went to Barnes & Noble and I saw this. You guys know I love hardback covered books because eventually in my home one day I want to have a library and I want to be able to have all hardcover books. Um, I do like paperback too but for whatever reason um, when collecting books, I like having them in the hardback cover. That's just what I prefer. And this series was really great. I read all three of the books within a week. Um, any of you guys know I'm a really big bookworm and I um, read so quickly. So this was a dystopian novel. So any of you guys who like the series like The Hunger Games or the Divergent series, um, I would suggest you go ahead and read the series as well. It is really great and I fell in love with it and I read the book so quickly. So 
They're really re easy to read and it's just a fun storyline and I really enjoyed reading the series. Okay guys, so that is it. That is everything that I wanted to show you for my favorites for June. So um, be on the lookout for my um, next month's favorites for July. We are already halfway through July. So hopefully I get this video up in time for you guys. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys as always so, so much for watching and I will see you all in a later video. Bye guys.